Okay, so this video is going to be about a knife that we can't actually have in Britain because it's illegal. That knife is the Butterfly Knife, aka the Balasong. Wait a minute, Scotsman, you just said that knife is illegal. Why do you have it? Now, before you go telling on me, this thing's a trainer. It's not a real knife. It's completely blunt. It's not sharp at all. There's no point, no edge, nothing. Is duller than a butterfly knife, literally. Now, of course, you could take this to a bench grinder or file it or whatever to make it sharp and pointy. I'm not going to do that because that's illegal. And honestly, people doing things like that are just going to get these banned. So, if you have one of these knives, please don't sharpen it and please don't put a point in it because that just makes good people like me look bad and it ruins it for the rest of us. Now, these knives, as far as I'm aware, were banned around the 70s or 80s. I don't know because I wasn't around back then. I, th I, believe, I believe the reason being is because Neds and Chavs, uh, basically just an idiot, if you're not from Britain, uh, Ned standing for non-educated delinquent in Scotland, uh, were using knives like these to intimidate people, I believe. They were used by gangs, things like that, because they're kind of flashy, they're kind of quick. Usually the blade is over four inches, they look kind of intimidating. And back then knives were a lot easier to get a hold of. You can pretty much go into most shops and just, I don't know, pay about a tenner for a cheap Chinese one and so many people had them and all this nonsense. But if you were around in the 70s and 80s, possibly the 90s as well, and you had one of these knives or you knew someone that had one, etc, let me know in the comments below. Now, as far as I'm aware, after the ban, you were still allowed to keep them at home. You just weren't allowed to buy them, sell them, hire them, gift them, or manufacture them. To do those things was a criminal offence, I believe. But you could legally own them at home, and only at home. Uh, that was it. Now, until recently, that was the case, I believe. Within the last couple of years, they are now completely banned. Now, I could absolutely guarantee you that there is still a very large number of people in this country with these knives. I've seen it on Facebook plenty of times in knife groups, people with real ballad songs. Now, some of these people had them before the ban. Some of these people are just flat out importing them. Uh, importing them. I haven't seen anyone in Britain manufacture them though, although I'm sure there are many. So, I want to talk about practicality of banning something like this. Now, should it be banned? Well, I'm sure you already know my answer to that, this being a knife channel. Me being a knife enthusiast. I mean, we have other knives like this, which are legal. By the way, this is not a flick knife or a switchblade. There is no springs in this, and this is UK legal. Now, you saw how quickly I opened that. And even... Something like, well, a, a regular lock knife is pretty quick to open. And even a slip joint like this, Spyderco Yuki PK, or even something like a Swiss Army knife, did that really take that much longer to open than, say, something like this? Maybe a couple seconds difference. Now, the Ballast Song, yeah, maybe it's a bit flashy, but I don't think that's a reason for it to be banned. Is it a practical knife? Well, compared to what, honestly? Compared to something like a Swiss Army knife? No, not really. Could it be practical? I suppose it just depends on who's using it for what. Are you going to use it for woodworking? No. Are you going to use it for camping? Well, if you really want to. Are you going to use it for opening boxes? Cutting rope? Opening letters? I'd imagine that's what most people did with knives like this. Aside from just flipping them and collecting them. Again, if you owned a Balasong, or if you currently own a Balasong, what did you do with it? And what do you do with it? Why did you buy it? Uh, Etc. Now, I think these are legal in a lot of countries. And then again, there's a lot of countries that are illegal in. I believe that these are legal to own in the Czech Republic. In fact, I'm sure all knives, period, are legal to own in Czech Republic. And they don't seem to have anywhere near the knife crime that we do in the UK. That, that knife claim is usually centred in London. Now, I think there's countries such as Austria where pretty much all knives 
are legal to own except butterfly knives. So they can legally own flick knives and switchblades, and even out the front knives, but you cannot own a battle song. That just seems really silly. Then again, I think all knife laws are, are silly. I mean, a kitchen knife's going to do more damage than this. Then again, you do have a lot of idiots saying that we should flat out ban kitchen knives. I'm not joking. I wish I was. Some people say we should lock up kitchen knives. Some people say that they should have rounded tips and blunt edges to make it impossible to stab, etc. etc. Hell, one, one guy even suggested, and this is an actual politician, suggested that the handle of all newly made knives should have a microchip tracker in them or something. In the end, he even admitted himself it was a bullshit idea, and my God, was it. I've also seen uh, things on Twitter about knives having... QR codes, basically a serial number for knives. I've done a video on that as well. It is actually a thing. Now, I don't think I've got too much more to say about the battle song. But if you have any thoughts or anything you want to add or... Especially facts. I'm really interested to know more facts about these. Now, not about the knife itself, but about why these were banned, I mean, it's kind of obvious honestly, the government doesn't like knives, the general British public doesn't like knives, it's a British thing, you don't like it, we ban it, and uh, honestly what more is there to say, I just want to start a discussion around these honestly, I mean, do I think these are going to be legalised or decriminalised, will we be allowed to have these again, no, I doubt it, I doubt that I'll ever be decriminalised. If so, I doubt it's going to be in my lifetime. Actually, I think we're just going to see more knives being criminalised. I mean, I think next on the government's agenda is going to be knives like this. I'm sure they do have such bans in the works, unfortunately. And I reckon that after that, they're going to say, well, you don't need a lock knife, we're banning those. You don't need a knife over three inches, we're banning that. All you need is a two-inch slip joint. And you have to have a license for it, blah blah blah. But honestly, that seems to be the way this country is going. Is a license for this, a license for that. We're going to ban that. Honestly, it's doing my honestly, it's doing my nothing. By the way, it's just ban this, license that, regulate this, and tax that. Can we please just stop? Please, can we? Can we just? Anyway, I don't think I've got that much more to say about the butterfly knife. Your comments and your thoughts, very much appreciated. I'll see you later.